Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be doing every exam question that has ever been asked on similarity. And if you do wanna use this document, it is linked in the description and it's all fully hyperlinked. So I'm gonna start off just doing just similar shapes for this one, and then I'll do length, area, and volume scale factors. And you'll kind of see why they feel quite different to each other. So in this first one that we've got here, it says that ABC and EDC are straight lines. Pretty obvious we can see that. And EA is parallel to DB. EC is equal to 8.1. So this length that we've got all the way along the bottom here, I'm just going to draw that on, is 8.1 centimetres. And it says that the length from D to C that we have here is 5.4 centimetres. So I'm going to label that as well. DB is 2.6 centimetres that we have. And what it wants us to do is it wants us to work out the length of AE, which is this length that we're going to look for over here. Now, the key thing to know is that these are going to be similar shapes because this angle is the same as this angle. Now, you don't need to add any of this in, but just to show you, these two angles are the same as each other, and these angles here are going to be the same as each other as well. And obviously, this part down here is the same for both triangles. So really what we're looking at here are two different triangles that are similar shapes. So we have the big triangle, and the only length we know of the big triangle is 8.1, and this is the one that we want to find out, which is our AE length. And then we've got the small triangle that looks like this, where there's a 2.6 and a 5.4. Now there's loads and loads of ways of doing these. You can find out what the scale factor is and then times it. So I think that's what I might do in this case. I'm going to find out the scale factor by dividing these two things together. So I'm going to do my scale factor is equal to 8.1 divided by 5.4 to find out how much bigger this has got. Now if I do 8.1 divided by 5.4, I get that the scale factor is 1.5. So this means all the lengths are being multiplied by 1.5. So if I want to find out what AE is equal to, I'm going to take 2.6 and I'm going to make it 1.5 times bigger because this length is being enlarged. This length here is being scaled up to give you the one that we're looking for. So I will do 2.6 times 1.5 and I get 3.9. So that means that AE is 3.9 centimeters. Now they've told us something different in the next part. They've told us that AC is 6.15. So I'm actually going to redraw the big triangle and then I'm going to redraw the small triangle that we've got here. So AC is this long length, which is 6.15. We know that that's 8.1. And we know that the bottom of this triangle is 5.4. So the scale factor, if we were going in this direction from the small one to the big one, we were multiplying by 1.5. So if we're going to go backwards, we are dividing by 1.5. Now they've worked, asked us to work out the length of AB. So because I want to find out what that length is, I think if I can find out what this BC length is, which is over here, I can use that to help me find out what AB is. So first of all, I'm going to begin by doing the opposite. I'm going to do my 6.15 divided by 1.5. 6.15 divided by 1.5. And that's going to tell me what the length of BC is. So BC is this. So I'll do 6.5 divided by sorry, was it 6.15 divided by 1.5, which is 4.1. So BC is 4.1 centimetres, which means AB, AB is the length of AC minus BC. AC is 6.15. So I'll do 6.15 minus 4.1 and see what we get. So 6.15 minus 4.1 and we get 2.05. So the length of AB is 2.05. If I add some of that stuff onto the diagram, we can see that this length here was the 4.1 that we had here. So I'm going to highlight that in yellow to make that clearer where that is. And I'll highlight this part in blue because that was the final answer that we were looking for for this blue bit at the top. So we've got 3.9 and 2.05. Now, this next question is a little bit trickier. It's right towards the end of the exam paper, and it's from a non-calculator one. It says the two triangles in the diagram are similar. There are two possible values of x. Work out each of these values. State any assum assumptions you make in your working. So if they're similar, like in this previous one, we talked about the angles, that these angles were the same, these angles were the same, and in that last part of the triangle, both of them must be the same. So I think what we could do to begin with is we could say that we have this small triangle, which is A, B, E, like this. And then we've got the big triangle, which looks like this, where we have A, C, and D. 
and the small triangle has an 8 and a 12. The big triangle would have an x, x plus 8, and along the bottom it would be 15, which is the 12 and 3 together. So in blue, I'm going to say if angle A, B, E equals angle A, C, D. So in other words, if these two angles are the same, then this side corresponds to this side, and this side corresponds to this side. Then that means I could find out that x plus 8 divided by 8, this divided by this must be the same as this one divided by this one, must be equal to 15 divided by 12. Now it's non-calculator, so I'm going to multiply the 12 up onto this side, so I get 12 brackets x plus 8, and then I'm going to do 15 multiplied by 8. Now 15 multiplied by 8, 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 plus the 4 is 120. So that's equal to 120. And so what I'm going to do now is divide both sides by 12. So x plus 8 is equal to 10, and I'll subtract the 8, which means x is equal to 2. Now, there's a different way that this could have been drawn. I'm going to do this in a red colour. We could have had the ABE triangle like this, so ABE. We could have had the bigger triangle over here, which was our A, C, and D. We still have the same measurements of the 8 and the 12, and the X plus 8 and the 15. But this time, I'm going to say if angle A, B, E, so this one at the top, if it was equal to this one, which is angle A, D, C, then we get something slightly different happening. What I mean by that is in this one over here, we said that this angle was the same as this one, so they were kind of exactly the same sort of setup. But in this case, that would be me saying that this 8 is going to match up with the 15, and the 12 is going to match up with the x plus 8. So it's kind of like flipped around in the way that they are. Um, look at how the 15, the angle is next to the 15, and the angle is next to the 8, and the angle is opposite the x plus 8, and the angle is opposite the 12. So these would be the corresponding sides. So with those corresponding sides, I'm now going to say that x plus 8 divided by 12, so I'm doing the bigger one divided by that one in blue, would be that bigger one divided by that one, is equal to 15 divided by 8. So I'm going to multiply up the 8, so that's going to be 8 brackets x plus 8, equals 15 times 12. 15 times 12, well, I'll do 2 times 15 is 30, and I'll do the 1 times the 5 and the 1 times the 1, so it's 180. So I'm going to say that is equal to 180. I'll expand the brackets, that's 8x plus 64 equals 180. Just to speed this up, I'll do take away 64. So if I take away 64, I get 116. And my last step is to do 116 divided by 8. Well, 8 goes into 11 once, remainder 3. 8 goes into 36 four times, remainder 4. And 8 goes into 45 times. So we get x is equal to 14.5. So a very difficult question, but it was right towards the end of the exam paper here. And it's all to do with the fact that we don't know which sides are the matching sides for this one. So we've described the assumptions for similarity, which we did here. If these are like this, that was what we assumed. Um, and we came up with 2 and 14.5. Okay, this one has similar shapes, and then it also has some Pythagoras that goes with this as well. Now, it says the diagram shows two right angle triangles, ACB and DEB. We know that they're going to be similar because they share this angle, and they both have right angles, so these angles must also be the same as each other as well. Now, I'm going to draw the small triangle and the big triangle. First of all, here is my big triangle that I've got, and then I'm going to do the smaller triangle and see if we can label any of the sides that we've got. So they've told us that AD is equal to 9, so between here and here is 9, and that DE is equal to 2, and that DB is equal to 6. So that actually means that for the big triangle, I can definitely label that this is 15, the 9 and the 6, and for the small triangle, I can say that this is a 6 and a 2. And we're going to try and calculate the length of CB. This is the thing that I'm going to try and work out. Well, I don't think I can do that until I've worked out this one that is over here. 
So first of all, let's find out what the scale factor is. The scale factor for this question is going to be our 15 divided by 6. And it's a calculator paper, so let's check. 15 divided by 6 is 2.5. So that means to go from this triangle to this triangle, all of the lengths are being multiplied by 2.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2 that we have here, and I'm going to multiply that by 2.5 to find out what it becomes. Well, 2 times 2.5 is 5 which means this length over here is 5. And this is a right angled triangle. So to find out the length of CB, I can actually just do Pythagoras, okay? So the length of CB is just going to be the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the other side squared. So it's 15 squared minus 5 squared square rooted. So I'll do the square root of 15 squared minus 5 squared. And it wants it to two decimal places, so it is going to be 14.14. So it is going to be 14. 0.14 centimeters. A bit of a weird question. It starts off with some similar triangles and then it uses some Pythagoras afterwards. So 14.14, yep, we got that one correct. Now I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to split this into two separate videos because the rest of them are all going to be length, area and volume scale factors. If you found this useful, please just do a very simple like of the video. It really helps. And if you've got any other friends who are doing their GCSEs and you think this would be useful, please share it with them as well.